It's time for a special guest question. Introducing Bordy the Smart Board. All aboard! It's time for a Bordy question. This set of pipes has four openings and four exits. You need to pour water in one of the openings so it reaches the exit with the bucket beneath it. The water will only flow downward with gravity and will not go upward through any pipes. Which opening do you pour the water through? I don't like that. <coughs> Claustrophobia is the fear of enclosed spaces, such as this absolutely tiny recording booth they've shoved me into to read out this specific question. Not only that, but said recording booth has no windows and no doors. With that in mind, clethrophobia is the fear of what? Probably geography. A certain continent features a region called the Indian subcontinent, which contains countries such as India, Nepal, and Bangladesh, among others. What continent is this region located in? Shovelware Studios. Bro. Tiger poster. Here's our shovelware's brain game grand champion. 
That's the end of this exciting episode of Shovelware's Brain Game. Signing off from Shovelware Studios Hollywood. Shovelware's Brain Game is brought to you by Smart Technologies. No, seriously, they paid us to make this. We're doing pretty well, so the studio is greenlit a brand new episode of Shovelware's Brain Game! But the studio executives accidentally added an extra ingredient to the concoction, the Dancing Banana! Shovelware Studios. It's a six month supply of dancing banana ice cream bars from Shovelware Foods. This delicious fruity frozen treat features two chewy gumball eyes that we absolutely guarantee aren't placed anywhere close to how they are in the picture on the box. <laughs> Who is the founder and CEO of Shovelware Studios? That works for me. It's lit, fam! <laughs> Ooh. 
we've got a very special guest backstage. Come on out, Sporty! Let's see what the question is this time! <laughs> what a ghastly ghoul! This character appeared in a 1922 silent film that was an unauthorized adaptation of the famous 1897 novel Dracula. What's the name of this vampire who became famous in his own right? Board. See you next time! Sports Mix! In case you thought baseball couldn't have any more rules, apparently the pitcher can only do very specific motions while on the mound, the intricacies of which we do not have the time to explain in a single question. Anyways, in baseball, what is it called when the pitcher does an illegal motion on the mound? Taste test. Mm, mm, mm. I love cake and I love cookies. They share a lot of ingredients, but there's one particular ingredient that's considered the main ingredient in both. What is it? You know, I was just reminded to put in the effort and you run, I mean, those are really difficult hobbies that I So if anybody wants to trade up, I'm, I'm around. Oh, now I'm hungry. Science rules. What is the largest organ of the human body? I want to know for, um, reasons. Pals. From Finland's hottest fashion designer known only by the name Devon, it's a brand new set of finish those buttons from their upcoming fall collection. 
These designer accessories are meant to be pinned to your jacket to make a statement. A statement about what, you ask? It's fashion. It's art. You just don't get it. <laughs> I'm in terrible pain. A snake just bit me, and its dangerous toxins are now coursing through my veins. What term would you use to describe the aforementioned snake? A novelty soda drinking hat! With this on your head, you won't have to worry about using your arms in relation to drinking your soda ever again. Until you run out of soda, well, then you'd have to use your arms to remove and replace the soda cans on the sides. Actually, if you could do that without using your arms, that'd be pretty impressive. Ooh, I want to see that now. You did it! You've got the biggest brain of all! For another exciting episode of Shovelware's Brain Game, stay tuned! We'll be right back after these messages. This episode of Shovelware's Brain Game is brought to you by Fast Feet Footwear. Number one, place up. Number two, zoom a zoom. Uh-huh, yeah, extra pepperoni. 30 minutes or it's free? Hey, great, that's... Oh, oh, it's a Shovelware's Brain Game! <laughs> Don't make it weird, it's the Dancing Banana!
What's the word? <laughs> Let's bring out a special guest to ask the next question. It's Forty the Smart Force. Hi, folks. Here's your question. Jacob Kander. This image is an illustration of the process of acquiring knowledge and understanding through thought, experience, and the senses. What word best describes this? Another question down! See you all later! Amazing space! Different planets are classified under different types, based on mass, orbit, and what they're made of, among other things. What type of planet is Jupiter classified as? Amazing space! Our sun is yellow, but did you know that stars come in different colors? It's true! The color of those big old balls of exploding gas out there in space is determined by how hot they are. Well, that leaves only one question. Which star color is the hottest? Zoo Pals. The Friendly Burger Little Friends Meal. Except for the toy, because I want the toy, so I'm keeping it. It came with apple slices, though, and I don't really like apple slices, so you can have those. Yeah. It's the Board of Edutainment himself, Forty the Smart Board! You just can't get enough of me, huh? Here's your question! Take a look at this fur pattern. Which animal does it belong to? Sports Mix! During our next commercial break, that we definitely have, we plan on having a lucky member from the audience try to sink a half-court shot for a fabulous prize! In a game of basketball, how many points is a half-court shot worth? Oh, oh, oh. 
Amazing Space! <laughs> Signature all metal dancing banana lunchbox. What time is it? It's peanut butter and jelly sandwich time. Keep your lunch nice and fresh all morning in this convenient container. Earth. It's a planet. But there's more of them out there, you know. Just how many planets are there in our solar system? Super! Big laundry. Here comes the coolest screen in town. It's Forty, the smart board. This is a question for me, Forty. Take a look at this garment from ancient Rome. What is it called? Smartboard. See you next time. <laughs> Big laundry. <laughs> Uh, apparently there are shoes made completely out of wood. And they're surprisingly versatile, too. They often are used for protection while working on farms and mines, but also utilized in many traditional Eastern European dances. What is the name of this style of shoe? That's right! Flags of the world. From left to right, in which order are the three prominent colors on Mexico's flag? That works for me! <laughs> 
Math Zone. <laughs> Okay, let's say I have three dozen apples. I realize that's an absolutely absurd number of apples to have on my person, and chuck two dozen out of the window of my car on the way home from Marsha's grocery store, shattering windows and causing extensive property damage. How many apples do I have left in this completely hypothetical scenario? Car battery. <laughs> Shapes and such. The President of the United States has a special shape-themed style of office. What shape is it? Oh, that's just plain wrong. Garden variety. Water and sunlight are two key components to making sure your plants grow large and in charge. But there's also some extra TLC you can provide. These types of nutrients will not only add to the fertility of your soil, but also provide the plant with additives that aid growth. What is it called? Shovelware Studios. Between rounds here at Shovelware's Brain Game, you can buy any prizes you missed out on from the shop. How much does it cost to buy a prize? Probably geography. <laughs> it's the Board of Edutainment himself, Forty the Smart Balls! More screen time? Yay! Take a look at this photo from my trip to Italy a couple of weeks ago. Um, actually, I was thinking I could be the one to ask this question. Uh, no, no. Come look at this Italy photo! This is a picture of a vineyard! What is being grown here? Oh, you're driving me insane! I've got to go ride some of the rides while I'm here. See you later. <laughs> Z. 
Zoo Pals! I'm looking forward to seeing the famous flightless dodo when I next go bird watching, and... What's that? There aren't any more? There haven't been for hundreds of years? Oh, what's the word used to describe when the population of a species is completely wiped out? It starts with an E. Monumental Landmarks Hello, hello, pip pip cheerio and such. This here's a question about jolly old England. Beans on toast, the royal family, tall bobby caps, tea time, non rotor cars, science fiction doctors, double decker buses, calling shopping carts trolleys, driving on the left side of the road and all that. Everyone's heard the famous chime from the big old clock tower in London, right? But what's the real name of Big Ben? A dancing hot dog! Hey, guy, get out of there. We're trying to do a show here. Wait, what? That's the prize? We're giving away a dancing hot dog? But that's a guy. It's just a man. An alive being. No, no, this can't be right. You there, banana nephew character? Pull that rope again. Close the curtain and open it again. There's got to be a real prize behind there. It's not even the same art style. That's a character. He should be sitting in the audience right now. Do it. Pull the rope again. Okay. Okay, now pull it open again. No, that's the, uh, the same dancing hot dog again. What are you still doing here? Ben and nephew, are you in on this? Is this some kind of prank? <laughs> Is this some kind of reference I'm not getting or something? Do it again. Pull the rope again. This never happens with any of our other prizes, right? You just pull it open and it's there. It's like a normal game show prize. Like some of them are funny or a little weird, but they're not a real three-dimensional person. This is just a guy. A dancing hot dog. Just pull the curtain again, and there'll definitely be a real prize behind it this time, okay? Okay. What? Is this the same dancing hot dog, but this time it's holding a rock and roll guitar? Is that what I'm seeing here? Okay, this is definitely an extended reference to something that's just going completely over my head. It has to be the entire bit transposed almost one-to-one, -one, and I am just not getting it. Right? And then a nephew? Is that your name? The middle nephew? Hey, it's not nice to ignore me. You're standing right in front of the camera, middle nephew. I know you can hear me. You're not being very helpful here. <sighs> this dancing hot dog holding a rock and roll guitar. You're this episode's grand champion! For another exciting episode of Shovelware's Brain Games, stay tuned. We'll be right back after these messages. This episode is sponsored by Smart Technologies. For real, thanks, fellas.